Good afternoon, and welcome to St. John the Evangelist Catholic Church. Thank you for joining us today, and welcome home. We are gathered to celebrate the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. The readings may be found on page 11 of your bulletin, which will act as our worship aid through our recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic. Please remember to take the bulletin with you when you leave today, as we cannot use them again. We are blessed to have you here again at St. John the Evangelist. We have missed our parish family. We hope you will understand some of the changes we must make in order to have a safe and respectful mass environment. One, please stay a respectful social distance from other individuals and families. Two, Please hold your generous gifts for our parish family until the end of Mass. We will not be passing a basket during Mass, but an usher will be at the exit doors of the church to receive your offering as you depart. Three, please do not touch anyone but your family during the sign of peace. Four, please leave your mask on until after you receive the body of Christ in your hand. You can then move the mask to consume the host. And five, please do not congregate after Mass. We want to keep you all safe and healthy, so continue directly to your vehicle when Mass concludes. We are so very excited to be hosting our first virtual concert here at St. John. Please join us on our website on June 18th at 7 p.m. when we will broadcast the Faces of St. John virtual concert. We will have St. John artists past and present from all around the area and across the country singing and playing their favorite songs from their time here as part of our parish family. Would you please kindly take a moment to ensure that your cell phone is powered off? Thank you, and thanks also for respecting the holy integrity of the Mass by remaining through our closing hymn. The celebrant of this Mass is Father Tom. Would you now please turn to the front page of the bulletin and join me in praying our parish prayer for peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear God, thank you for all creation, in the spirit of Jesus of Nazareth, and all teachers of peace, who inspire the many faith traditions. Help me and all the people of the world learn how to replace hate, war, oppression, and division with love, peace, freedom, and reconciliation. Help me to embody your love in my relationships with my family, friends, strangers, even my enemies. I commit myself to this sacred task throughout my life, so let it be. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please rise and join in singing our processional hymn found on page 12 of the bulletin. Holy, 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 page 12 of the bulletin. Fall and mighty God. 
Good afternoon. My friends, let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. As we gather together to celebrate this Holy Mass, this weekend we celebrate the most holy trinity, the unity of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And it is in a very special way that we pray for, for unity and peace in our country. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass worthily, let us first call to mind our sins and ask God for His forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, Grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Early in the morning, Moses went up Mount Sinai as the Lord had commanded him, taking along the two stone tablets. Having come down in a cloud, the Lord stood with Moses there and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus the Lord passed before him and cried out, The Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in kindness and fidelity. Moses at once bowed down to the ground in worship. Then he said, If I find favor with you, O Lord, do come along in our company. This is indeed a stiff-necked people. Yet pardon our wickedness and sins and receive us as your own. The word of the Lord. Glory 
Blessed is your holy and glorious name. Praise worthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory. Praise worthy and glorious above all forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise Brothers and sisters, rejoice, mend your ways, encourage one another, agree with one another, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the holy ones greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. The word of the Lord. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. 
Whoever believes in him will not be condemned. But whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. The works of the French philosopher Jean-Paul Sartre are still popular today because the author expresses so well a prevailing mood of our time. He's extremely pessimistic about the ultimate value and meaning of our lives. His most important work is a large philosophical book called Being and Nothingness, a title which accurately describes the content. Better known, however, is his play entitled No Exit. It tells the story of a woman and a man who find themselves in a living room. There they are given the impression that they are in hell. But they appear to be quite comfortable until they learn that there is no exit from that room. Sound a little familiar? There they will be together forever. Knowing this, they proceed to make a hell out of the situation. That's the way it is, Sartre is saying in, in this play. We find ourselves together in this world feeling as though we're in, a, in an impossible, absurd situation, in a place where there is no exit. And there is nothing for us to do but take out our frustration on one another and make the world a living hell. Sad to say, that is one of the dominant moods of our time. Many people are feeling this way as they try to work their way through the complexities of modern living especially during the current crisis. Pessimism is a familiar mood in contemporary life, and we well understand why. But Jesus comes to us amid it all and tells us that we have good reason to reverse that mood. The good news of the gospel is that you don't have to wait for that golden tomorrow the one advertisers and politicians are forever promising. And you don't have to settle for dreams about the way things were in some bygone, less complicated era. Salvation is upon us right now. God is acting in your life and your world in a saving way at this very moment. The power and love and grace of God is working within you to bring the fullness of life you need and want so much. Today, in this and every congregation, people are hurting very badly. And we need to remind them that in each of our lives, the resurrection power of God is always present. There is no situation, no illness, no death, no broken relationship, no financial difficulty, indeed no pandemic which can escape God's loving concern and compassion. If you will only allow this healing power to take over in your life, only then will you discover the true meaning of your life and your rightful place in the lives of others. Imagine that when you come to church and pray the prayers and sing the songs, you are really in conversation, really in touch with the living God. As a community of Catholics, we have the assurance that in every seeming no-exit situation, God is acting with resurrection power. He's working to give life where there is death, 
to give health where there is illness, to give joy where there is sadness, to give freedom where there is bondage. I was 22 years old when I first arrived in the United States. Twelve years later, on October 14th, 2014, I became a U.S. citizen. It's one of the most important days of my life. I've come to love this country and the people in it. Some of the things that I have always admired are how diverse the country is. People of so many different backgrounds, skin color, so many different nationalities, so many different religious beliefs, Christian denominations, so many differences, and yet the most powerful country in the world. I remember telling my family and friends back in Poland how people were so patient in trying to understand my English when I was struggling through the ESL classes. They still are patient. How I enjoyed visiting Jewish synagogues and different Protestant churches and learning about them. I told them how much I enjoyed the national holidays with their barbecues and watching sports. I told them about going to basketball games, baseball, football, how I admired the many athletes and celebrities I once only saw on television and now was able to experience in person. Everyone I knew back home wanted to experience at least a little bit of it. The only time I got into troubles was when I was wearing a Michigan shirt when I went to a Michigan-Ohio State game to somebody's house and they were all Ohio State. <laughs> what we see happening today is disturbing and disappointing. Our country that we want to be a model for the whole world to see, a model of unity in diversity. America is divided from the top to the bottom and from the bottom to the top. Today, my friends, it's time to change the course of where we are heading. St. Paul in our second reading urges us, brothers and sisters, rejoice, mend your ways, encourage one another, agree with one another, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will, will be with you. Can you hear these words? Encourage, agree, live in peace. Pope Francis recently said, my friends, we cannot tolerate or turn a blind eye to racism and exclusion in any form and yet claim to defend the sacredness of every human life. At the same time, we have to recognize that the violence of the recent nights is self-destructive and self-defeating. Nothing is gained by violence, and so much is lost. As we celebrate this Trinity Sunday, the unity of three persons, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Let us pray for a unity and lasting peace in our land. Let us pray that each of us personally will contribute to that unity and peace. Mother Teresa of Calcutta once said, if you are kind, People may accuse you of selfish, ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. If you are successful, you will win some false friends and true enemies. Succeed anyway. If you are honest and frank, people will try to cheat you. Be honest anyway. 
What you spend years building, someone could destroy overnight. Build anyway. If you find serenity and happiness, they may be jealous of you. Be happy anyway. The good you do today will often be forgotten by tomorrow. Do good anyway. Give the world the best you have, and it may never be enough. Give your best anyway. God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. Let us invite God into our situation. O Lord our God, in your mercy and kindness, no thought of ours is left unnoticed, no desire or, con or concern ignored. You have proven that blessings abound when we fall on our knees in prayer, and so we turn to you in our hour of need. Surrounded by violence and cries for justice, we hear your voice telling us what is required, only to do justice and to love goodness and to walk humbly with God. Fill us with your mercy so that we in turn may be merciful to others. Strip away pride, suspicion and racism so that we may seek peace and justice in our communities. Fill our minds and hearts with the truth that all lives matter. Flood our path with your light as we walk humbly toward a future filled with encounter and unity. Be with us, O Lord, in our efforts, for only by the prompting of your grace can we progress toward virtue. Amen. Let us now together profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for us men, for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. Adopted children of a loving Father, we bring our prayers to Christ, pleading the Holy Spirit's aid.
that all who are baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit live out our call to holiness through acts of mercy and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May the Holy Spirit grant peace to the entire world, healing the wounds of civil unrest. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our parish family of St. John, that the life-giving love of the Trinity may flow through us so that we may be untiring in supporting the lonely, consoling the grieving, encouraging the struggling, and forgiving those who have injured us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the spirit of healing, that God will touch all who are ill, particularly those with COVID-19 and the individuals and families on our prayer list, that God's healing spirit will fill them, fill them, ease their pain, and restore them to wholeness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our troops and their families, for first responders and healthcare workers, for the unborn and their parents, for all victims of abuse, that they may be created anew in the spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For worshipers who are praying online in online format, that all may be comforted and assured that we are all one body of Christ, experiencing God's presence in the same sacrifice of the Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We remember those who have recently died, especially for Virginia Clute, Timothy Mangan, and Rosemary McMullen, that God will welcome them into the company of the saints forever. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray especially for Geraldine Salvo. I beg your pardon. We pray especially for Marianne Anelli, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our we also remember Francis Amiglio, as this is the one year anniversary of her death. We pray to the Lord. We take this moment to place our personal intentions before the Holy Trinity in silence. We pray to the Lord. Father, we praise you for revealing to us the mystery of your inner life. As we hear our prayers, may we grow in faithfulness to you at all times. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. As a reminder, please hold your offertory gifts for until the end of Mass. An usher will be at the exit doors of the narthex to receive your generosity. Our offertory hymn can be found on page 13 of the bulletin, Abba Father, page 13. Father 
brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sanctified by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in the Trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim, cherubim too, and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day as with one voice they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord Hosanna in the highest Hosanna in the highest You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many 
for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Frank our Bishop and all your clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 now pray together in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us now share this peace with one another. Take 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Let us now pray the act of spiritual communion with those of us who are joining us for this Mass from home. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
And all the earth will shout your praise. Our hearts will cry, these bones will sing. Great are you, Lord. And all the earth will shout your praise. Our hearts will cry, these bones. Will sing, great are you, Lord? And all the earth will shout your praise. Our hearts will cry, these bones will sing. Let us pray. May receiving the sacrament of Lord our God bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us now go in peace. Please join us in singing our closing hymn found on page 13 of the bulletin, Holy God, we praise thy name, page 13. <laughs>